Hey guys, welcome to the last episode of Redstone Ready. Today we're going to be putting all of our knowledge together so far, and I'm going to give you a project without any hints, and your goal is to figure out how to make it happen, much like the Logic Gates video. If you can't figure it out, you can see my solution. These won't be as crazy as many games, but more so just fun projects to test out your knowledge. First up, we want to make a sprinkler system that comes on once a day, and whenever it does, we get five quick pulses of water. All right, guys, let's take a look at the redstone behind this. We have a daylight sensor that's going to be powering this dust during the day. And then anytime that's powered, we're going to power this monostable circuit here, just a rising edge, so it only activates once per day. It doesn't activate during the night, too. Get out of here, bat. Anyways, it's going to spit out this redstone block, activating this comparator clock. And whenever it does, this is going to activate our dispenser here very, very quickly. Now, for our timer, to make sure that the clock doesn't run indefinitely, every time this block here is powered, our dropper is going to count these items over, and once all of them are over, this comparator powers this torch, and that's all the items reset, correct? Well, we take our output from that and run it into another monostable circuit, that's just going to pull our redstone block back, deactivating the clock. Just a reminder, you can build these a hundred different ways, so as long as yours works, good job. Next up, we want to install a locking mechanism for our door. As you can see, there's no way to get in, but whenever we have our key here, which is just a renamed piece of paper, we can swipe our card, so to say, and then walk through our house. That's your goal, so see what you can come up with. All right, let's take a look at this redstone. As you can see here, I just covered up a dropper, an item hopper, and a piece of redstone dust that would otherwise be showing with carpet here. You can place that on top of any of them. Now, what happens is when we drop our item in here, the dropper sends it back out and our door comes on. We have an item filter here, which we have uh, 22 items in here which gives us a one signal strength and the moment it goes to 23 we get a signal strength of two which powers this repeater which unpowers this torch unlocking this hopper allowing an item to flow out of it into this dropper whenever a dropper come or an item comes into this dropper now you've seen this circuit before all it is going to do is item elevate right so we're going to come up this would be easier if i move this out of the way probably so all we're going to do is this block has to be here in order to break the signal. And it's going to power this block of dust, powering this block, sending our item out. So we're always going to have one right here, and they won't know that. It's like having a hidden key, right? Because they can't access if there's a piece of carpet on top. And then right here, all we have is a pulse extender to take this whenever an item comes in here. You see it activates this, and then we take a pulse extender out. That way our door stays open for long enough for us to actually walk through. So finish product, we get our key back, and boom, we walk through. All right, guys, and lastly, we're going to make a movie theater. Now, whenever we walk into the movie theater, we want the screen to start moving. And whenever we come out of the theater, we want it to stop. So that's the concept. Let's see what you come up with. Alright guys, let's take a look at this redstone here. As you can see, we have a tripwire hook going out into a monostable circuit here. And it's going to send that one tick pulse into a T flip flop here. Whenever we walk into the theater, the redstone block will change position to here. And this will allow our clock to turn on. This is a six tick clock running into a dropper with a hopper on top. Every time this hopper has an item in it, we're going to pull a signal out of it with a comparator and strengthen that signal with a repeater. Now we have two lines going into four different pistons here, okay? Well, four different piston lines. These green ones are on the same timing and the blue ones are also on the same timing, okay? The green ones are zero, uh, zero ticks of delay, meaning that this row of pistons and this row of pistons extend at the same time. Now the blue pistons have Four, or sorry, five ticks of delay. 
And so what's going to happen is this one's going to extend, retract, and then this one is going to extend and retract, and then this one's going to continue. And what we get is this infinite loop of blocks here. And this is known as a piston feed tape. Now, if you came up with this on your own, good job. That's awesome. Uh, I didn't know how many of you would be able to come up with this. Some of you may have already seen these designs before. And all we did was put a random blocks here and there in a different pattern to make it look like whenever we're in the theater over here, we actually have a motion picture. Way to go. If you worked out how to complete all three, then I'd say you're redstone ready. Being able to do anything you want with redstone just takes practice and knowledge. You've got the knowledge now, so it's time for the practice. If you guys want to make any awesome redstone contraptions and want to show them off, tweet them to me. My Twitter is linked in the description as always. Thanks for hitting that like button guys and subscribing. There won't be a video out this Saturday, but my schedule should be returning to normal with videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday of next week. I'm working on the next survival Let's Play series and the process has taken a little longer than it does to make a redstone video, but time permitting, I'll also be able to release the first episode of the Let's Play series on Monday, so look forward to that. Also, I want to say a big thank you to all the subs so far for supporting me. It means a lot. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Cairo, this has been Redstone Ready, and I'm out. I'll see you next time.